Yes, a lot of folks think I've been an artist all my life, but you know what I've been doing? For 30 years before I ever picked up a paintbrush, I was the president of a business think tank, and we were developing studies and information for executives in corporations that range from AT&T, IBM, Citibank, Bank of America, Fujitsu, businesses all around the world. And so I'm sort of like one of you business folks. Or just on a very low end, I'm part of the wealthy, or at least I live a, a good middle class life. And I think all of you should stop picking on him. You know, every time I turn on the television, look in the newspaper, somebody is hounding Mitt Romney to divulge his taxes. And I feel sorry for the guy. But since I had been a businessman and thinking about money for 30 years, I thought about what he, the problem he may face. Because, you know, when you have some money, one often wants to put that money, that gold, in the Cayenne okay, Islands or somewhere else where it can be. And you can guess why this thing up here that looks like an umbrella is in this painting. We want to shelter the gold. We do not want to pay taxes until, in some cases, never. In other cases, at the optimum time for us, because we do not want to give the federal government any money, okay? So, the other thing we like to do is to be able to leverage our money while the rest of you are working by the hour and earning your money from your day-to-day -day jobs, the wealthy likes to leverage the money that they have because they can make a hell of a lot more money in one day leveraging their millions and millions than you can make in a year. So I think of this as part of a fulcrum. And if you remember what Archimedes said, give me a long enough pole and a place to stand and I can move the earth. And what the wealthy, and by the way, there's three really wealthy persons that have more money than 49 countries. Okay, so this is a painting I made when I started to think about the problem Mitt Romney faces. You know, he may have tons of this gold out there. He may have been sheltering it by all sorts of ways. And I would never think that possibly he evaded taxes or did anything illegal. However, you know, either we give up hounding this man or he should step forward and show us his tax returns.